Hey guys, it is March 13th and welcome to another Flossy Friday. This is the only way that I could get him in frame for right now. So we'll just leave it. Um, so everything is crazy right now. I really hope that everyone is staying safe, staying not in a panic, but cautious um, about COVID-19 and all of that all of that jazz. Um, I did not move this enough. Sorry. Okay. Um, so I just, I really hope that everyone is staying cautious, um, clean and staying indoors and stitching being the wonderful extroverted introverts that we mostly all are. So, um, Let's just do it like quick little update Potter's good I am good I got bored today um, was supposed to go to an event tonight but it got canceled and my cousin decided not to drive down from Austin to one save gas and just you know be out of public as much as possible totally understandable um, and so I was driving around being a little bit productive this morning and because I decided, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and still take off today because why not? Um, and so, anyways, um, I was just literally driving around talking to one of my friends for a moment and um, I was like, I kinda wanna just cut all my hair off. And so she was like, go for it. So that's what I went and did. I really like it. It's very different. Well, it's not very different. I've had my hair this short before, but I was wearing it straight. Like if I straighten this out, this is longer actually than the shortest I've ever had it. But with my curls, it's short. So um, anyways, but I think it's super cute and it's hair. It'll grow back. Um, I just, I needed something different. I was bored. <laughs> okay, so stitching wise this week, Oh no, I also got my market haul, but I left it all in the other room. Last week, my goal for this week was to work on my Linton stitch and work on Black Witch and work on something else that I honestly can't remember. And then a lot of things happened. I did work on both of those but I also wanted to start all the things. So I started one, two, three, four, four things over the weekend. And then Monday, Miss Teapot came in from Russia. So I started her and then my market haul came in literally yesterday and I've already stitched and FFO'd one of the things that I got. So, Six new starts, two old whips, and <laughs> um, a new start in a FFO. Yeah, so let's dive on in. Um, let's do um, <laughs> Black Witch first, only because that was a previous whip. Um, <laughs> gosh, that is so insane in the membrane. I'm old. Okay. Um, so this is Black Witch by Verbena CS, Verbena Cross Stitch. Um, join her Facebook group. She's super, super, super sweet. And there's a ton of free patterns on there, but also on her Etsy, she's got fantastic patterns and m most, if not all are under $5. Um, and they're intricate and super freaking cool. Now this one is supposed to be all black, but I had to make her colorful. And this is on a piece of 18 count pictures plus in the color Jade. So I've finished everything, but the ribbon that holds these up, um, the, there's a set of this right above that. And I'm going to do that in the blue color. Um, and then the border and that's where I'm at with her. I think she is super beautiful um, and 
I did work on her on Monday at lunch and the goal for this week was to only work on her at lunch this week. But then Miss Teapot came in, so um, I took her Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday to also work on on my lunch break because I could not put her down. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, so she'll be my lunch stitch next week. Um, <laughs> again, uh, because, I, yeah, I just, I want to get her finished, but also I just absolutely love her. Um, she's just so freaking fantastic. Okay. Um, my other whip that was already a whip is my Lindy Stitches Alast and Did My Savior Bleed. This is my Linton Stitch, which um, I should be working on this today. I will work on it this weekend at some point. Um, I just don't know which day yet, but this will get some more work on it this weekend. Um, but I am about a fourth of the way done. So this pattern is two pages um, big. Um, and I have, so this is the halfway point. I have two more lines of this size words and three flowers. And then I'll be on the second page. So I have about a fourth of it done and I have through mid April because my goal is to have this done by Easter. Um, if I miss that mark, I'm just going to keep on working on it until it's done. But, um, I try to work on it at least one day of the weekend during the Lenten season. So the rest of March and halfway through April. So, but I think, I think I'm making pretty good progress. The words go really fast. This takes obviously a little bit longer, but, um, I really love how this is coming. I used all DMC conversion, um, except the red I changed to DMC 115, so the dark variegated red, uh, because I still wanted the flowers to have a variegation, um, but everything else, I just did the DMC conversion. All right, so that takes care of whips. Oh, and that is on 32 count pictures plus sand. Lugana. I, I need to s not forget to say that. Is that the right? Who knows? Okay, so what all did I start last weekend? A lot of things. Um, so my first new start of last weekend was Matter's Choice. Um, and I don't have the original pattern in here and my working copy is just the pattern so I can't show it to you. But I decided to do it on this piece of fabric. Do I know the count size? No. If I were to take a stab in the dark, it's either 28 count or 32 count. But I kind of want to say it's a 28 count. Um, this is one of the ones that I dyed myself last month. So it's a dyed panda rainbow splash type situation. So um, very tiny little start, just the little window, top window in the house. Um, but it's gonna be so cute. I love it. Um, but yeah, Matter's Choice by Carriage House Samplings. I do know that much. So this was my first new start last weekend. Then my second new start was, oh dear Lord, was a restart of Needles Danced by Hands on Design, Ink Circles, and Summer House Stitch Works. Last year at Market, they did a um, market release kit where you got all the threads, um, a needle minder, um, a needle, the fabric, and the pattern. And only market attendees to their class were able to buy the kits. And so you kind of had to like look around to find shops that 
carried the kits and you had a choice between a light color fabric or the navy fabric and I love this color the colors of this pop so magically on this fabric however It's just too stiff and burlappy for my personal taste. Um, a lot of people used the kit fabric and if I had something in my liking in this kind of color in my stash, I totally would have used that. But I don't and I didn't want to buy anything because I have way too much stash. So... Um, I decided to restart this on 32 count linen. It's not a Lugana. It is a linen in the color spice by picture this plus and I think I love it more than the blue, but that's just me. My personal takeaway. It's gorgeous. Um, I didn't get too much of a start, but Hey, this is more than I ever got on the Navy because I didn't like working on it. So this is way farther than I ever had before. Um, so I love that I finally restarted this. It's something that I've been wanting to do. Um, and I need to keep on working on this because I absolutely love it. Love it. So I think it looks gorgeous on the spice. It looks gorgeous on the blue. Okay. I just personally could not get over the fabric and you know if you've ever started something and you didn't like the fabric and you tried forcing yourself to stitch it on fabric that you did not like it takes way longer to finish than it ever would have if you just picked a different fabric so I'm not gonna be mad at myself for changing out the fabric and who knows one day I'll probably keep this navy in my stash. There may be a pattern that for me will be worth stitching on that or maybe I can try washing it and seeing if maybe like there's some sizing in it that I can like pull out um, and see if I can make it a little bit softer. I don't know, but absolutely love this pattern on Spice. I think it is fantastic. So, um, there's that start then, and then, oh gosh, now I have like an avalanche of things happening and falling. Hold please. Also, I really need to do a little bit of tidying up today because I posted this I love that I got this little storage container and I love that I'm using one of the sections for, well, that was not as successful as I was hoping that it would be. Um, this is full <laughs> and overflowing. I need to put all these threads away and I've been procrastinating and not doing it. So I need to do that today because it's driving me bonkers and I keep on knocking threads out and that's a little ridiculous. Okay. So this came in the mail not too long ago and I know that it comes fully kitted and sometimes the fabric in these kits are cut very close for a lot of people's comfort. And I am somebody who does, I don't do the whole three inch rule. If I end up with only a quarter of an inch, I will somehow make that work for a finish. Like it limits how I can finish something but I also don't care about that. It's just not a big deal for me. If I know for a fact a way that I wanna finish it though, um, that will affect me just using that piece of fabric. But I also um, decided to change the fabric and some of the thread colors because I wanted to make it more of kind of like a nighttime vibe. And I think I succeeded. So um, I didn't go super crazy with changing things up. Like for the most part, I kept the colors like if it called for a reddish color, I, I made it like more of like a cool toned pink. Um, same thing with the orange. I just picked cooler tones 
to make it more of like a nighttime type scene um, instead of a daytime one. Could, could you not? I love you, but no. Um, so that's the extent of what I changed other than the fabric. So, well, <laughs> the extent. I changed a lot, but I started Fayoum Cat by Owl Forest Designs on a piece of 32 count Lugana from Pictureless Plus in the color Nocturne. And I cut it because um, I have a fourth cut and I only needed half of that. So, um, and my goal for this is to make this a pillow for my bedroom, for my bed. So, see what I mean? Like, this is supposed to be, like, specifically, this color right here is supposed to be this one right here. And I just wanted it to be more nighttime looking and more cool toned, so I made it a, like, navy blue. Um, so I just really like it. It stitches up so quick and nice and it's just an absolute gorgeous pattern. It is also a gorgeous, fabulous kit. It is worth the money. Um, but I just wanted a different vibe and there's nothing wrong with that, but I am leaving the whole kit intact. Like I made a working copy for myself. So that way everything remains from the kit intact and pure is that a way to phrase that I don't know um but this is a fabulous pattern if especially if you're like a cat fan um but yeah I just wanted a little bit more nighttime scene and that's just a my own personal preference okay the next one I had been looking for something to put on this cut of Diva and y'all saw my little care package and I am in love with this Black Moon Design Spell of the Moon on this pattern. Now, have I also gone a little insane on a three colored pattern and made it probably overly colorful? Probably. But this is on a piece of counter you. Hello. 28 count even weave in the colorway Diva from Picture This Plus. It's going to be stunning. Stunning. Um, and whenever I'm done with this pattern, I'm going to pass it on. I'm going to put in all of my colors that I am using on a little slip of paper and, um, patients did the same thing. We're going to pass it on. We're going to pass it on again. And that person is going to get patients conversion and my conversion. And I just, it's going to look so stinking good. I absolutely love it. Um, so I'm excited. I may even pull other colors, so this may not be the final palette. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love it. So I'm adding in some, they aren't neons. They look, on, they look neon because of this fabric, but they're like pastels. So this is number 13. It's not neon, but it looks neon on this fabric, but it is just a pastel green. So I'm using that. I plan on using 11, which kind of is a neon yellow orange, uh, orange, yellow green. Um, but then I have like 225, which is a pastel pink, but it kind of looks neon on here. So um, we're gonna see what happens, but I think this looks stunning. So um, once Miss Bla once Black Witch is done, I was gonna say Miss Black. Once Black Witch is done, um, for my lunch stitch, then this will become my new lunch stitch because it's small, compact, and really fun to work on. So, um, just what you need in a really nice lunch stitching piece because you get an hour a day. To work on something so you want to make it fun and easy but not too many colors but not 
not enough colors and anyways. Okay. My last, no, well, my last new start that is not an FFO yet is Miss Teapot. So she came on Monday and I started her Monday night and I worked on her Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at lunch and Tuesday in the evening because Wednesday I didn't really feel super great and so I did not stitch Wednesday night. And Thursday night, last night, you'll see what I was working on whenever I got home. Okay, so this is on a piece of 14 count Ada, again by Fabrics by LJ, and I'll make my little spiel. He does not dye fabrics anymore, so if you never got his fabrics while he was a dyer, the only way that you can get them now is if it's gifted to you or you find it in a D stash. But they are amazing fabrics, and this colorway also did not have a name just like the other one I bought it in the same February 14th 2017 sale um, and it was fabric number 36 and the other one that I did miss scissors on was fabric number 33 so there's that okay so I've completed three colors and I've almost completed my fourth one because I almost have the outline of the floral border done. And so here is Miss Teapot. I'm currently, I got this little part of the outline left. Um, and then I will start filling in the other colors. Um, the kit is put together beautifully. Same as Miss Scissor. That's why um, I'm not doing like an unboxing of this um, because I did that with the scissors. Um, but, geez, that's where she's at. I absolutely love this pattern. It is stitching so quick and so beautifully and so cute. And I'm just, I love these patterns. And... Barbara Anna is coming out with a third um, lady. And I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna invest in her because I'm not a coffee drinker, but it's basically gonna be Miss Coffee. I don't know if it's gonna be like Miss Coffee Pot or whatever, but um, so there's gonna be Miss Scissors, Miss Teapot, and Miss Coffee. Now, maybe eventually, but it's not one that I need like right away because I'm just not a coffee drinker. Um, no shade, I used to be. Um, I'm just not anymore and so it's not as, I'm not, it's super cute. She's put out sneak peeks and it is adorable but it's just not um, one that I'm super like, I've gotta have it like as soon as it comes out. Like the day it's released, I need to order it. Like I was with Miss Teapot and Miss Scissors. So that's what I mean. But it is it is a fantastic pattern. The sneak peeks that she's shown and the colors. Guys, go check out Barbara Anna's Instagram and just go see the sneak peek. The colors are phenomenal. They're phenomenal. Like they just are. So definitely go check that out. But I just absolutely love Miss Teapot. So she is gonna, she's currently has all my attention. I was gonna work on her last night until my market stuff came in and then I had to start something and it was so quick and fun and easy that I finished it and then I FFO'd it this morning. And God, why did I leave my haul in the other room? Final start for this week, but also a finish and FFO is by Nikki Creations and it was the Kitty Kit exclusive to market and I saw it and I just had to have it and I've never bought a market exclusive kit because usually they're just a lot of, well no I have oh I bought Needles Dance mind me hello I just said that like 10 minutes ago okay so um anyways I don't get very many of them, I guess I should say. Um, but I had to. 
Um, and you may be wondering why is the cat not white because of Potter? Well, I have had other cats. So, um, I left this cat orange, um, as charted because my first cat ever actually, who also lived to be 22, his name was Milo. And, um, because this, the wood is kind of more of like an orangish tinge and he was an orange tabby. So he had a little bit of striping and all that jazz. Um, I wanted to make this stitch specifically for my Milo. Um, and so this is so adorable and I absolutely love it. Love it. I did change all of the colors. It's a little poofy in and outy, but I'm okay with that because I'm probably going to take it to work. Um, and hang it at my desk. I just need to put, I need to figure out what color I want to put up here. I might do the orange to tie in with the cat. So I might do an orange strand to hang it by. Um, and I don't know if I want to hang any floss off of this or not, but um, I have a little bit of hot glue still on the back. But I basically, I took some super glue and put it around the wood and then boop, on top where I liked it lined up, I waited for that to dry and I cut the fabric. So the kit came with the pattern, the fabric, which is a 14 count and the frame. So um, I think my cousin wants me to stitch this for her now um but obviously on different fabric and she won't have a frame she'll have to frame it herself but i'm totally down to do that for her um but uh, and then because the fabric was super thin and a little see-through um i hot glued felt um just to make sh make sure it was a little bit more secure on there um but yeah, I mean, you won't see that, but it made it a solid back so that way it didn't have stuff shining through. But I absolutely love this. So this is my little Milo cat. Okay, I'll go grab my haul. <laughs> okay, I'm back with my haul, my market haul. Okay, so I already showed you this. This is Kitty Kit. If you can still get your hands on one and you love little cats, it is so stinking cute. So like you can see, I changed up a fair amount of the colors. The cat is actually two different colors. Um, I used my orange, so I dyed this orange myself and um, I felt like there was enough variegation to not need two colors. Um, I lightened up the hearts. I gave him a blue bandana because Milo always had a blue collar. Um, I made the scissors a little bit more silver and I changed the button and the spool to match because Usually with buttons, you use a similar color to put them on, usually. I know there's artistic <laughs> reasons not to. Um, and then I did this line in green instead of the brown, so that way it looked like he was chilling on some grass. So I changed up my colors a fair amount, but it was so much fun and so cute and hello. So adorable. But anyways, if you can get your hands on this, um, as the kit or even as just the chart um, and find a super cute frame that is or isn't a cat. It's so cute and fun and easy to stitch. The next chart that I got is another Nikki Creations and this is Tea Girl. So, um, and Heather gave me a piece of the gingham fabric to stitch her on um in the brown I think brown or gray I can't remember she gave me both but I think she gave me more of the brown gingham I think I don't know I can't remember <laughs> I cannot remember um and then I got two Brenna Gervais and I have a wish list of more things that I want but I'm trying to pace myself um so I got the next in the oval design set uh which is spring serenade so i've done all the other stitches in this design and they take me like two or three days so this one will probably get done sometime this month because it's just stunning 
so cute. I absolutely love that. Um, and then I also got Berry Keeper. Now I thought that these were similar sizes. No, this one's like double the size, but it's so adorable. I absolutely love this. So um, I can't wait to stitch this one as well. And then I got two hands-on design patterns. I got the Secret Santas, the first two Secret Santas, which they both come with a small portion of Secret Santa number nine. So that's really exciting. Um, but yeah, so that was my market haul. Um, next week though, so my goal is to finish Miss Teapot, if not this weekend, by early next week. Um, and I really want to get out my quilting bee. So Laura, if you're watching, quilting bee. Um, also, I need to pick a new winner for the fabric giveaway. And let me just do that. Kelly's Stitching Corner, I will be reaching out to you. Um, I probably have by the time you might see this, but um, if not, <laughs> by some weird witchcraft, um, I'm gonna be getting in contact with you. <laughs> so, through Instagram. So, there you go. Um, anyways, yeah, guys, um, just, you need to quarantine, quarantine, self-quarantine as much as absolutely possible. Um, and, you know, like if you still have to go to work, just be, you know, sanitary, wash all the time, stay away from your coworkers as much as possible, all that kind of jazz. Um, I know that it's staying home isn't an option for everybody, but just stay safe, stay, stay healthy, um, and... I hope that you'll have a great stitching week and I will see y'all next time. Bye guys.